going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the other day, if you guys don't remember, Activision went ahead and put out another little post for the skill-based matchmaking regarding the skill factor of the game. And they put out, you know, a little image basically showcasing that the player retention fell off for the lower bracket of players when it came to removing skill-based matchmaking within the game. And Mark Rubin actually had a pretty good response here, which I couldn't help but crack up when I went ahead and saw. As you guys could see right here, clearly this is the post from Charlie Intel showcasing the image about, you know, obviously people leaving the game. And Mark Rubin says, so, just making sure I'm reading this correctly. Uh, did retention drop by less than 2%? <laughs> but it's true. Like, we gotta be real here. We have to be real. First and foremost, the game is already losing numbers all throughout its life cycle. You know what I'm saying? Ever since Call of Duty drops, I mean, this goes for every game too. Every single one of these games, it drops, it gets a massive influx of people. This is why I always say, I say it in all my videos, that COD lasts like, you know, uh, two, three months, sometimes four months. And that's no hate to Call of Duty whatsoever, because even, you know, for Modern Warfare 3, in my personal opinion, I love Modern Warfare 3, but Modern Warfare 3 suffers from the same exact thing. The game lasts like two to three months and everybody moves on from the title. And then you just see nonstop decline of numbers of people leaving and leaving and leaving with, you know, minor little boosts of people coming in when new seasons drop, but it instantly goes away like a week after the season. It's typical. It, it's what to be expected. So, you know, that plays a massive role in player retention, especially if you're doing this towards the end of Modern Warfare 3's life cycle when barely anybody's up in experience. And two, it just simply doesn't matter because the people that this system is affecting are going to leave anyways. It's absolutely no difference. They don't care. If they get in a sweaty game that they don't enjoy, regardless if the skill-based matchmaking is there or it's not, they're gonna back out. They're gonna, they're just gonna get up, get out, and move on with their day. You know, if that's really what it's coming down to here. So basically, Activision doesn't want to remove the skill-based matchmaking for a whopping, you know, player retention drop of less than 2%. That is the deciding factor for them. And it's not because of the player drop. It's because they want to milk the whales. They want them to feel good about themselves. The massive majority of these whales, you know, in a, in a game with no skill-based matchmaking, they're not going to get fed any of these easy lobbies. You see, in Call of Duty, it's a nightmare for any average player or above average player because every single game you get out of, it's re-evaluating your stats, making sure you are going up against optimal opponents every single game. So every game, you are sweating for your life. And again, for more experienced players, they could push through it. They can get their streaks, so on and so forth. But it's tedious. And its only purpose is to go ahead and feed, once again, feed the whales the lobbies that they need to cough up more cash. That's it. That's the only purpose of this system. A lot of the low-skilled whales don't want to actually improve. They want that instant gratification. They want to, you know, again, they want to open up their wallets and be accepted, be able to do whatever they want just because they simply are going to throw out some dollar bills at the development teams. And again, that's who this system caters to because those players will always be coddled. They will never see the true player base, the actual opponents that they will have to go up against. And at the same time, while they are avoiding the extreme competition, they're also getting fed bot lobbies, easy lobbies, the casino mindset, because you can't forget, although this system is optimizing your skills and stats, it throws you bones on purpose to keep you addicted to the cycle. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, once again, it's putting you through a sweat match, a sweat match, a sweat match, a sweat match, and then a bone is thrown here, and then another sweat match, and a sweat match, and a sweat match, and then another bone there. It's supposed to frustrate you, make you rage, make you want to get off of the game. You're tired of playing a casual experience like that, but then you finally get a pop off, and you're right back at all. It's like, oh, that was amazing. That felt really good. Let's see if I can get that again. And then you sweat, 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 and you repeat the process. This system is horrible for, once again, anybody who has a 1K DN up, this system is it, it's just an absolute disaster, but it doesn't matter because they want the cash out of the lower skilled whales. They want them to dump their full checks into the game, which they do, and it's because they are protected to the maximum extent. And honestly, it's not about protection. It really isn't because if we're going to be real here. 
I know a ton of people who have lower than a 1 KD who despise skill-based matchmaking because once again, it's always optimizing your skill. Doesn't matter what skill level you are, negative KD, neutral KD, two, three, four, it doesn't matter. They will evaluate your skills and they will force you to sweat, 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 sweat and get into the casino mindset. That's all it is. And lower skilled players hate this as well. But like I said, the difference between, you know, a lower skilled player who wants to improve and a lower skilled whale is that, again, the whale wants to just pay to work their way through it. And in a game with no skill based matchmaking, they don't have the mentality to actually improve. Some of these other low skilled players, they do. They do want to feel, you know, a little rewarded when they finally learn a new thing or they actually understand a different concept of the game and they use that to their advantage. They enjoy that. And they don't mind having to sweat up a little bit because that's what no scope is matchmaking is. You're being put up with anybody. Who knows what's going to be? You could have a full day of sweats. You could have a full day of casual gameplay. It could be a mixed day. We have no clue what the outcome is going to be. But a lower skilled player would still much rather have that outcome than be sitting at a freaking slot machine. I swear, a lot of these lower skilled whales love that mentality. And it's crazy. It's literally like watching someone sitting at a slot machine and how they sit there and they die. I, I, it blows my mind because I'm like, how do they do this? They sit there and they dump more money in and more money in and more money. Hundreds. Like, oh, that hundred dollars just, you know, flew out my pocket and I didn't want anything. Well, let me put in another one hundred dollars. You know, it's all for that slight gratification, that little reward that makes you feel good about yourself that's all that matters to these individuals and it's the same thing when it comes to the matchmaking system they just want that little reward they don't want to feel any improvement they don't want to try to get and even slightly better at a game even though they're literally playing a competitive first person shooter i don't know why anybody wouldn't want to go ahead and improve slightly i know it's a casual game but even back in the day like call of duty 4 people were still trying to get better people drop shotted people crouch spammed people still got a b-hop in every so often People learned angles, they learned positions, they learned spawn traps. People always try to improve at these games because that's a fun factor. You want to get kills, right? If you didn't want to do that, you'll probably be hopping on a single player game to kick back and relax. But it's just wild to me to see all these casual players now saying that, you know, skill based matchmaking is needed. No, it's not. You're just playing a sweaty game. X Defiant is sweaty. It is. I don't know what to tell you. And I find tons of casual matches in X Defiant. I find people who don't even touch their crouch or jump button all the time but at the same time i find people who sweat it out as well but that's just the nature of this game same with call of duty if call of duty removes skill based matchmaking guess what it will probably be just as sweaty if not sweatier than x defiant right here I, it just it, it's crazy i can't believe i see people actually saying that adding skill based matchmaking would improve the casual experience no it, it won't it won't at all you will still be competing just as much with no skill based matchmaking. The only difference is that if you really, really, really don't want to sense any amount of improvement, then yeah, you'll be thrown a free bone every so often. So in your hour long play session, you might get one good game, you know, because it's a, it's a freebie. Whereas in X Defined, if you really genuinely don't want to learn, you could potentially have no good games. You know, you, you could, you can go a full day with no good games if you really don't want to put in even the tiniest bit of effort to like learn a spawn. That's all, you don't even need to learn movement, just learn a spawn rotation or a spawn trap, whatever. Like it takes zero effort to be able to do this, but a lot of people don't want to. They don't want to put in the effort for that. They want the freebies. I mean, look at a game like Battlefield, for example. That game has no skill-based matchmaking, but it's not sweaty whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? It all depends on the player base. It's irrelevant if skill-based matchmaking is not in the game. It's not going to make it, you know, a trillion times sweatier depending on the game that you're putting it in, right? Or not putting it in, I should say. You know, both these games have no skill-based matchmaking. Yeah, X Define is, you know, the way it is, and Battlefield isn't it's a reason for that because both gameplay styles and communities and the people who enjoy those games are different adding in skill based matchmaking to battlefield is not needed and over half the casual players will not say that again they're only saying that in x defiant and call of duty because it's basically i guess required because of the community and how they play and they want a freebie instead of trying to work around it but i don't know ladies and gentlemen i i don't think Adding in skill-based matchmaking would do anything. I mean, even look at, like, Halo Infinite. Everybody's saying that, you know, skill-based matchmaking saves games, and that games die without it. Uh, what do you have to say about Halo Infinite, man? Look at the player count in that game. That game has skill-based matchmaking. Yet, yeah, and still, people don't play it as much. I mean, what can I say? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. What matters is having fun, genuine experiences. 
being thrown into the mix with all the players. It just really trips me out because, you know, I see people say all the time that they just get non-stop sweat every single day, all day long, and that this game needs skill based matchmaking. Yet and still, uh, like I said, my experiences are all over. I mean, you could just look at the gameplay I showcase on this channel. Sometimes I'm versing people who do be hop. Sometimes I verse people who crouch. You know, sometimes I verse people just with insane accuracy. And sometimes I verse people who don't have any thumbs. And this happens every day. Every single day I get this variety. I, I, I don't know. I, like, truthfully, I feel like it's just people who are having a rough experience, just having a rough day. And they're just mad that they're not getting that freebie game, you know, where, you know, the algorithm says, okay, the, you know, he's, he's had enough sweaty matches. Let's give him, you know, a disabled lobby so they can just stomp out some players with no effort, you know? I feel like that's what people want, you know, because that's the purpose of a skill-based match. It's hilarious because that used to be the argument for people who didn't want skill-based matchmaking, right? Everybody used to come at our necks saying all we wanted to do was stomp on noobs when in reality it's the people who want skill-based matchmaking that have that mentality. So they do get a chance to stomp on noobs and they don't have to verse sweats 24-7. <laughs> Oh, it's funny how things go, but ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, guys. We do indeed post here daily at 8 in the morning Eastern time, mostly x Define. You can expect a, uh, you know, a little conversation on this channel when the new update drops on Wednesday. We're going to be discussing that, going into the details. I don't know when the patch notes are going to go live, but if they go live uh, today, basically on Tuesday, I'll probably have a video for that planned on Wednesday, and then we'll actually deep dive into the gameplay on Wednesday, which we will be live streaming as well. Guys, don't forget, we live stream pretty much daily over on Twitch between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, we're going to be trying out the, uh, you know, the new update, which I think might include movement. I'm not sure, but I know a bunch of ranked changes are going to be coming and maybe some bug tweaks and all that good stuff. So I can't wait to see what's in store. We're going to be covering it. Make sure you guys tune into the live stream. Got a link to that down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.